वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश ट्वेंटी सो स्टेटमेंट इज द शॉफ इज सपोर्टेड बाई स्मूथ थ्रस्ट बेरिंग एट ए एंड स्मूथ जनरल बेरिंग एट बी इफ पी इज इक्वल टू फाइव किलो न्यूटन एंड शॉफ इज मेड फ्राम स्टील हैविंग एलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज वन फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल एंड एलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज एटी फाइव मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड मिनिमम वाल थिकनेस टी ऑफ द शॉफ टू द नियरेस्ट मिलीमीटर टू सेफली सपोर्ट द लोड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट Uh, that is uh, supported by a thrust bearing at point A and a smooth general bearing at point B. And at this end, we have load of P. The cross section of this shaft is given as outer radius is forty millimeter. So we do not have thickness. That's why we do not have inner radius as well. So you have to find the minimum wall thickness of this shaft. So let's start with the solution. so as we know that maximum bending stress or allowable bending stress is equal to m into c divided by i so by using this formula we will calculate the thickness we have allowable stress clear maximum uh, bending moment will be calculated from the shear force and bending moment diagram and i is will be also calculated that is based on outer radius and inner radius so based on that we will get inner radius and then we will calculate t so let's start with the solution so if you remove this thrust bearing so there will be a reaction force which is represented as r a and if you remove this uh, smooth general bearing so there will be a reaction force that is r b so you can find r a and r b by using equilibrium condition so first we will use sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b first moment is r a into perpendicular distance is 1 and that will be clockwise so it will be negative the second moment will be again r b into perpendicular distance is this one and this will uh, also create negative moment so it will be negative so we will write minus r a into 1 minus r b into 0.5 is equal to 0 so r a is equal to 0 uh, sorry we are taking about moment about point b so this will be not moment this will be moment p into perpendicular distance 0.5 that is uh, clock uh, clockwise so it will be negative so make correction minus 0.5 p so r a is equal to r a is equal to minus 0.5 p okay so r a into perpendicular distance is this one so r a is 0.5 p i think 11.20 is the question so we we have a problem over here okay p so p is given as uh, 0.5 uh, kilo newton so r a is equal to z minus 0.5 into 5 which is equal to minus 2.5 so it means that r a r a value is negative so it should be downward so our assume direction which is upward was wrong it should be downward so i will correct it it should be downward okay now we will find rb by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces about in y direction must be equal to 0 so ra which is downward that is minus 2.5 plus rb minus 5 is equal to 0 so rb is equal to 7.5 kilo newton so now you have these two this is kilo newton now you have these two uh, reaction forces so you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so i will draw it about y axis uh, horizontal axis you will take the length in meter so you can see at point a we have minus r a which is minus 2.5 so let each division is of uh, 1 or you can say this is 2 
and this is minus 4 minus 2 so first point is 2.5 so it will be here so first point will be here now moving from point a till this point b you, this shear force will remain same and that will be minus 2.5 but at point this b we have rb which is 7.5 so it's uh, minus 2.5 plus 7.5 will bring it to 5 so we'll plot this 2 4 and this will be 5 so 5 point will be here so the shear force will change from minus 2.5 to 5 and again from 5 till end there is no other shear force so it will be remain same and we have p is minus 5 which is downward so this is your shear force diagram now we will move toward bending moment diagram and for bending moment diagram again we have to draw line x in meter where we have shear force in kilonewton and we have moment here in kilonewton into meter the first area is this one and this area is equal to minus 2.5 into length which is 1 which is minus 2.5 so let this is minus 2.5 you can choose your own one so first minus 2.5 so we will draw straight line first degree line because you can see that shear force is horizontal line now this is minus 2.5 5 and the second area under the shear force diagram is this one so this area is 5 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 2.5 so minus 2.5 plus 2.5 will equal to 0 and the moment will be this one because the area under the shear force is positive so the this line will be the first degree line with slope increasing now you can see that uh, maximum from this shear force diagram maximum bending moment absolute value is minus 2.5 kilo newton into meter clear so it absolute value will be equal to 2.5 kilo newton into meter and uh, you have this uh, circular pipe you have to draw it accurately i will draw it again so that you can have a uniform thickness okay so let this is its horizontal axis and this is its vertical axis and this distance is r naught this is your r naught r naught is 40 millimeter which is 0 0.04 meter and this is your R I. I will write it R I. So I for this hollow circular pipe will be equal to pi by four, pi by four, R naught power four minus R I power four. So you can just put the value pi by four, zero point zero four power four minus R I power four. And what about C? So C will be equal to C will be the maximum distance from neutral axis. So it will be 0 0.04. And this is I. So C is equal to 0 0.04 meter. Now you have all the values. You can just put it in the formula that allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into C divided by I. So allowable bending stress is given as 150 megapascal. So 150 into 10 raised to power 6 is equal to maximum moment, which is 2.5 kilonewton into meter. So 2.5 into 10 raised to power 3 multiplied by C 0 0.04 divided by I, which is pi by 4, 0. 0, 04 whole power 4 minus r i power 4 so when you solve this definitely you will get inner radius which is equal to r i and this r i will be equal to 0 0.03617 
meter and inner radius will be equal to 36.17 millimeter now from this diagram you can see that this is the thickness t so this thickness t is equal to r outer r outer minus r i r inner this will give you thickness t so we will write t is equal to r outer minus r inner r outer is 40 millimeter minus 36.17 millimeter so from here you will get thickness is equal to 3.83 millimeter so this is the answer now we will verify it whether this thickness satis also uh, satisfy the shear stress maximum shearing stress so shear stress is we know that allowable shearing stress is equal to v max into q divided by i into t three t okay so what we will do is that i will copy this okay and i will copy it we will paste it over here okay now you can see that maximum shear force which is from here is 5 kilo newton so v is equal to i will write v max is equal to 5 kilo newton i is again you have t value over here so you can just put pi by 4 into 0 0.04 whole 4 minus ri is 36.17 which is 0 0.036 whole power 4 so when you calculate it you will get i as well clear and that i will be equal to 0 0.69145 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 t thickness is again equal to two times thickness thickness of this plus this so thickness is 3 point uh, uh total thick uh, this thickness is two times uh sorry this whole thickness which is uh two times 0 0.00383 and the unit will be in meter and what about q so q is equal to now we will find the q of this this portion clear and how you will find the q for this portion so we will take the q of this we will consider it as solid for r outer clear and then we will subtract this portion from this this one so it will give you the moment of inertia uh, first moment of inertia of this shaded portion so the if you consider this as solid so its uh, distance its centroidal distance will be this one and this centroidal distance is y dash that y dash will be equal to 4 over 3 pi into r naught and r naught is 0 0.04 now if you consider this inner one is solid so its centroidal axis y will be equal to its y dash will be somewhat below and this will be equal to not at the same line this will be y dash and for that it is 4 over 3 pi r naught r, r inner r inner is 0 0.036 millimeter so q as we know that q is area into y dash so first area which is this one and area of this semicircle is 
pi by 2 r naught square into this y dash so area is pi by 2 into 0 0.04 square and y dash is 4 over 3 pi into 0 0.04 and we will subtract the first moment of inertia of this pi uh, this uh, semicircle and this area is equal to uh, pi by 2 r i square in a radius square into its y dash will give you q for this so i will write pi by 2 into 0 0.036 square multiply by 4 over 3 pi into 0 0.036 so when you calculate it you will get q will be equal to 11 point 562 into 10 raised to power minus 6 cubic meter. Now you can just put in this formula. So V max is 5 kilo newton. I will write it downward. Allowable stress is given. Uh, oh, sorry. Our maximum stress is equal to V. V max is 5 kilo newton. So 5 into 10 raised to power 3. Q is 11.562 into 10 raised to power minus 6 divided by i and this i is 0 0.69145 into 10 raised to power minus 6 and thickness is uh, 2 multiplied by this which is approximately 0 0.008 so when you solve this this will be equal to 10.45 mega pascal now you can see that this maximum sharing stress is less than allowable because maximum sharing stress is 10.45 megapascal which is less than allowable and allowable is given as 85 megapascal so 10.85 megapascal so it means that uh, this thickness t is t is equal to 3.83 is okay and this was all about problem 11.20 i hope you are, you have learned it and you are enjoying it as well those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about every latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching